Audio Jungle. Are you ready for some football? Of course you are, and we are too. That's why we're standing out here at Sports Authority Field here in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado, where we're rooting for the Denver Broncos, and there are also some Panthers fans here as well. Um, they definitely need a comeback after the Super Bowl disaster last year, and that's what we're talking. Come back with Erica Cobb. What's your name and where are you from? Amanda. I'm from here originally, but I just flew in from Washington for the game. You flew in specifically for the game? Yes. Go Broncos! Broncos fans travel very well. Another Bronco fan here. What's your name and where are you from? My name is DJ. I'm from Mile High. That would be Denver. What's your name and where are you from? Because we got the party man right here. Ryan Davis. I'm from Colorado. Centennial. Centennial. So you came packing. Uh... <laughs> He's the captain. Okay, tell me who do you think is the player that is poised for the biggest comeback this season? The biggest comeback. I would say DeMarcus Ware because he had that injury and he's come back from that. Let's talk a little bit about Tlaib because that's another thing, you know, on the offseason there was a legend yeah. some things that happened. What do you think about that and how do you think that's going to affect him for the season? Um, first of all, I feel like my personal uh, opinion, like, I feel like that's pretty bad because number one, you're a Super Bowl champion, so you're like on the spotlight. Stay out of the strip club. <laughs> Put your alleged weapon away <laughs> right. and try not to shoot yourself. I love my glam Bronco girls. What's your name and where are you from? Andrea and I'm from Pueblo, Colorado. So that's kind of a hike, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. How much did you pay for your ticket? I paid, well, about 200 for my ticket. How'd you find it? Was it Craigslist or was it? The crazy part is, it was actually given to me by a friend. So I didn't have to You pay know it. what? <laughs> I knew it. That's where I was going the whole time because my glam Bronco girls never have to pay for a ticket. <laughs> what? I know how much we pay for these tickets. And I feel like the Broncos could really afford to pay Miller how much he wanted. Well, you know, look what Sanders just did. Sanders just decided that, you know what, it's time to play for a good team. It's not always all about the money. It's about playing for a championship Super Bowl winning team and a town that wants to go to the Super Bowl every single year. So will you stop supporting Vaughn? <laughs> I knew it. I did it. I managed to wrangle a Panthers fan. What's your name and where are you from? Joey Bowman, Gillette, Wyoming. Out of everybody, Cam Newton is going to be poised for the biggest comeback this year. Do you think so? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dick. Tell me a little bit about uh, this Manning jersey that you decided to rock today because, of course, we still love Peyton, although he's no longer well, with us. Well, basically, it was on sale. They have Manning jerseys on so sale? This was last year, last year. That's, they had a year-end sale, and these things are really expensive, and all I had left was Manning. Okay, you but that's never all right. That's all put right. Manning on sale. The main thing is it's orange and blue, you know. You never put Manning on sale. It's been real catching up with Broncos fans for the first time since we were in Super Bowl City in February, but now I'm going inside. I'm going to this game because this game is going to be on point, and we're going to see exactly what the NFL has to offer us this season, but more importantly, what our Denver Broncos have to offer us. Let us know who do you think the comeback kids will be in the NFL this season. Join the conversation on social media. Hashtag comeback with Erica Cobb.